Hello everybody, uh, for this week's music lesson, I decided to use the theme Music in Nature because had we been at school this week, uh, many people would be going to Mountain Campus and actually this was going to be the first year I was going to get to go to Mountain Campus and I don't get to go, so I'm a little bit bummed. But uh, I decided to use natural instruments for this week's music lesson and I'm going to show you some of those instruments right now and then I'm going to put them all together and see what I came up with. Actually, I'm kind of excited because I filmed all these instruments separately. I tried to do them all in the same time frame, but then I've got to put them all together and see what comes out because you never know what nature's going to bring you. So let me uh, move you over to where the instruments are and I'll tell you what I used and then I'll talk a little bit about what I want you to do. See you over there in a minute. Early instruments were just made of things that people found around where they lived. They were things they were, that were part of the environment. So for this particular piece, I tried to use some things that might be found in an environment and not really fabricated instruments. So uh, I'm going to introduce the instruments that I use for this piece. And I'll start with this here. This is just a piece of bamboo that uh, I found at a lotus garden a long time ago and has been in my house ever since. And I played it with these two sticks here. These are actually manufactured sticks, but they are just sticks. This is a, uh, a piece of slate and that my brother actually painted to make a really nice mountain scene. And I played on the back and I played it with these two rocks. I have this rock here and this rock here, which actually I pulled off of a beach the day I got married. Oh. And then I also used this instrument here, which I introduced in some of our uh, Zoom meetings this week. This is a didgeridoo, which is one of the oldest instruments that people played. And it's just a wooden eucalyptus tree that uh, you add a little bit of beeswax to the front here. So you get a mouthpiece that's not uh, too hard on your mouth as you blow it. And it makes a really cool sound that you'll hear later. Uh, I also used a drum, and uh, the drum is has a skin, which is natural, and it also has a wood body, which is natural when I was playing with wooden sticks. Uh, I also incorporated a little bit of wind in this with my wind chimes, which I left outside uh, on this very rainy day. And at the end, I had, couldn't resist, I added a gong, which you might not think is like a, a natural instrument, but once people learned how to... Uh, create metal and smith metal gongs are very very old instruments so I couldn't resist I love my gong and I thought it might fit in with this uh, this piece that I did today so I'm gonna go put this thing together and I hope it comes out cool and I hope it inspires you to find some interesting sounds natural sounds around your own home and create some music let's see how this piece turns out <laughs> 